after a sweep in their final tri-match at home of the season, Stevenson defeats Lebanon Valley and Stockton by sets 3-0. Three, three I'm here with head coach Dave Trumbo. And Dave, uh, two after uh, last night, we'll talk quickly about last night with the match against Johns Hopkins. Went five sets to get the ninth-ranked team in the country. And then you come into this match, and it looks like you guys uh, just shuck it right off and, and did two good two matches. Well, I, we talked about the difference between a good team and an excellent team. Mm-hmm. You know, good, excellent teams are going to lose matches. Right. It's how you're going to rebound after that. Are we going to feel sorry? Well, we went five last night. We got home late. And now we got to play two matches. Or are we going to be really be excited to play? And I was a little concerned, but they I was very proud of the way they came out and just set the tone in both sets of both of those matches. Uh, Hopkins are really super team, and that's how we get better, mm-hmm. you know. And you know, you your warts get exposed. Now we got some stuff to work on as we're going down, you know, closing towards the end of the season. Uh, and today, um, there were times we were unstoppable. In that f- first set against Stockton, we hit 542 and sided out 10 out of 10 times. You know, and we just were on fire when we could have just said, oh, I'm a little bit tired, you know. But, right. we, but no, we didn't do that. And it wasn't, and these were two quality teams. These are teams that, you know, a Lebanon Valley team that's obviously you've known in the past. Now they're on the other side of the conference in the Mac Freedom and a Stockton team that's made the NCAA tournament. So, right. you know, these are these are two good quality teams. And you, you, st- you talked about the Stockton match where you hit well in the first set. Go back to the Lebanon Valley match. What did you guys do well against the Flying Dutchman? We did just about everything well. Um, every once in a while, we have a little glitch in the passing, and then we make a couple errors. But uh, w- first, we dominated the middle. Darian was 9 out of 10 and didn't make an error, so she hit 900. And then our setters were able to go out to the pins. Julia Vigliata uh, had uh, hit, over nine, uh, hit over 400 in both matches. So that's huge for her. She had a really rough game against Hopkins. She rebounded and um, had a really nice Saturday and was great to see for her. And now jump back into Commonwealth play. You got Widener on Tuesday. What can we expect out of the Pride? It's never easy going up 95 and playing Widener. <laughs> you know, the, the, with the traffic and everything, um, we're always just happy to get out of there, hopefully with a W. Uh, Widener's been up and down. You know, so they've lost to some teams where they were, were, you know, eyebrows raised, mm-hmm. but then they've beaten some really pretty good teams. Uh, so not sure what to expect, but uh, – I've already watched so much tape this week with four, four games in four days, you know, right. so i got to watch Widener. All right, good luck, Coach. Uh, thanks, James. All right, so the uh, Mustangs on Tuesday will be at Widener. We'll be back home on Thursday as they host St. Mary's. As always, you can find all the action on GoMustangSports.com. Thank you for watching, and go Stangs.